Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. New mod roundup. This, these, these, this, these are mods for Wednesday the 28th, Thursday the 29th, and Friday the 30th of July. For various reasons, scarcity of mods. I was supposed to be going away on the 29th for a few days for my birthday. That all fell through. Um, so a whole. <laughs> a load of reasons why I didn't do the mod reviews on those particular days so I thought I would do a roundup of all of them instead makes it a bit easier um I want to say a massive thank you for a start to Tyler John Peter Andrew Gavin and Gavin and Sergio thank you very much for your generosity incredibly kind of you uh so I'm going to do the updates for those three days as well because they weren't a huge amount um so the updates are as follows Top left updates for Wednesday the 28th. The map Medvedin by Medas MGS said it was an update. I don't recall it being on console. So as far as I knew, it's new to console and I have done a first look map tour on there. The Kongsklide, no, Kongskilda, I always get it wrong. Uh, GXT 1305, 1300S. By no name, LSMC, the... Kongskilder GXF 320S by no name. The Amazon D9 pack by Ericsson. The Deutzfahr TTV7 series by STV Modding. The Roadrunner Plus by Mantrid. The Massive Ferguson 9407S by KRKZ Modding. And the Sheep Dairy by ER Shabavir Sar Modding. So that had added in, it was a milk sheep. And they've added in uh, one for wool as well. So there's both in there. The Roadrunner Plus by Mantrid said it had a sleep system put in mod but i couldn't find it or get it to work that could of course just be me on thursday the 29th the map thought and farm 19 by steve's mods oxygen david and lancy boy had an update i just want to say now i did speak to steve's mods via message on discord i feel quite bad that i think i was a bit scathing a bit negative about the original release it has been updated fixed chickens fixed sheep Fix silage pit at the main cow yard. Fix fuel trigger at the petrol station. Rearrange the silage pit at the main cow yard. Rearrange part of the BJ. Remove the silage said shed, but it will require a new save game if you have already started playing on there. So apologies to Steve's mods if I was a bit harsh when I did the, the mod review, but it had the map tour, but it has been revamped. The Avant series by ITS and the Lizard TPL by Danio Mods all had updates on Thursday 29th. And then on Friday the 30th, the Man 33414-41403 pack by Black Sheep Modding. I think that's had an IT runner system added to that one. The Case Axial Flow 250 series by JHHG Modding. The Old American Brick Wall by 810 Mods. And the Food by Battle Wolf 781. All had updates. First up in front of me, we've got the Agco Tractor Gallery. This is the Gallery Dashboard. This by Mutlu Modding. It is 0.17 megabytes download, one slot on console. It'll cost you 1,000 and you'll find it under placeables and decoration. It is a store sign if you want to set up your own tractor sales or something like that. Um, it doesn't have a function, it's, it's just a sign. If I go up to it, there's no option to change anything or anything like that. Um, it's, a, it's a signpost for, let's say, for your store or if you want to set up your own use tracks a lot, something like that. It's entirely up to you. That's the gallery dashboard by Mutlu Modding. Next, we have got the medium carport. It's by ICAS. 2.45 megabytes download, three slots on console. This will set it back 25 grand and you'll find it under placeables and sheds. I like this one. I like the design of it, the layout. Very huge covered area but very open and spacious underneath i like the access from all different directions so as a drive-through but i also like the hazard marks corner posts as well for those people that are a little bit like me that are not really paying attention you might just clonk into the occasional thing um light switch just there yeah not a bad size at all and that one what i say was yeah twenty five thousand for twenty five thousand that's not bad that Anyway, yeah, so there you go. That's the medium carport by ICAS, 25 grand. It is seasons ready as well, that one. And then, so these are for the 28th. And then we have got the cow barn here. This is by Daniel X321 and Sizek. 
It is 20.31 megabytes download. 30 slots on console. It is seasons and manual system ready. It will hold 15 cows. Very nicely detailed, textured and weathered on this one. As you can see, the manual system set up just there. But this is your slurry point, regardless what system you are using. If we go around, it seems like down to the, the dirt collected on the corner of the windows and stuff like that. Very nice. So, this side opens. That's your straw section goes in there. So, if you come into here, I found the straw trigger was kind of just about there. Water trigger was about here just as you come in the door, and feed trigger was a little bit further along, so no problem there. Uh, lots of sort of places to explore, little side rooms. We've got, as we come through and out the other side, we've got various different garage space, ample parking, uh, but I'm assuming the, light, the lighting is automatic, because I can't find a light switch. Now, that's not the first time I've said that and someone has then said, oh, it's blah, blah, I, I have had a really good look. I can't seem to find it. Now, dialog box is just here. So for putting your animals in, taking them out, buying, selling directly, however you want to go about it. And like I say, it will hold 15. I've got some in here at the moment. But what we also have got, which I really like, nice, easy access to the hayloft at the top. We can open the doors at either end. So we come up the stairs, big open space up here as well. Says. There we go. Not a bad size building, this. Now, as far as manure goes, you probably just saw that's where the manure appears, so you're going to need to move that. Well, you could leave it there as a huge pile if you want to. Um, and your milk trigger is this one just here. Everything fairly straightforward on this one. Sometimes you get these sort of designs, the, the Polish sort of ones, and they can often be a little bit tricky. But this one, very nice indeed. You'll find it under placeables and animal pens. It's 100 grand, which I suppose is fairly pricey for 15 cows. But then you do get the sort of shed bit on the other side as well. But again, price might not be an issue. It might just be something you look at and think, I absolutely want that. So that's the Cow Bun by Daniel X321 and Sizek. Next, we've got the emergency sign. Now, there's something important about this. This is by Landmensch. 0.22 megabytes download, one slot on console. It does say the rewards from the Mod Hub reward program will be donated. Uh, it doesn't say who to, but they're going to donate the, anything that comes to it. So if you go onto the Mod Hub, you can often like the mods, give them a score rating kind of thing. That would be absolutely fantastic. Now, so these are, f well, signs and flags. So you've got the sign there, the, the emergency sign. And we can change that to have it as a convoy sign. And then we get the convoy flags as well. What I like about these as well, it's sort of fluttering in the breeze. But when you drive off and accelerate, the animation, I'll show you in a minute, the animation changes. And you get that high speed fluttering. It looks like a real flag moving. You know, it's, it's brilliant. Really well done. Uh, we'll have a look at the rest of the flags in just a second. But let's find them under, not under landscaping at all. Under tools and miscellaneous. So there's the sign. So you've got the emergency sign. Like I say, it's like one slot, 250. Um, it's, it's 100 kilograms, so it's kind of a weight as well if you want. Now, let's just change main colour. If we do that, it actually changes the framework behind or the actual the metal of the sign. Now, if you want to look at it. Uh, I think I just left it on sort of galvanised stainless steel look. So you can have it like that. Standard or now. This is the one I'm not sure about, the validation one. I'm not sure what the validation one is. The rest I've got, I know what the other ones are. So, Union Leader, that's normally the lead vehicle. So if you're running a convoy, these are normally military flags. If you're running a convoy, emergency services military, lead vehicle will have that one. Blue should be for any other vehicle in the convoy. Now, they don't always run those. Sometimes the vehicles in the convoy, convoy don't have a flag, but they should have a blue uh last vehicle is green so the vehicle right at the back of the convoy is green so you've got lead vehicle rear vehicle then blue for the ones in between now in the real world I say in the real world a yellow means a vehicle kind of in distress broken down so if there's a vehicle by the side of the road that's got a yellow flag shown that means it's um having difficulties needs recovery and a red flag is normally carrying hazardous materials explosives that kind of stuff would have a red flag I'm not sure what that one is. If you know, pop it in the comments. Um, but anyway, so, and then we've got emergency sign. 
or column. Now the thing with that, if I go back to that and turn that off, what you would often have is the column one would be on the rear vehicle on the back. So if you're approaching from behind, you know there's a column of vehicles and on possibly the lead vehicle as well, it depends. Um, so if you're approaching from behind on a motorway, dual carriage road, just on the main road, wherever it might be, you know there's a column of vehicles. That is often more helpful if you're going to overtake. So if you go to overtake, you're aware there's going to be a column of vehicles you need to get past. Um, it's also supposed to be to avoid people pulling into the middle of a convoy because you're kind of aware there's a convoy ahead of you. So yeah, you've got the emergency and then the convoy one. And you can have three-point link or trailer attacher. So if you're running pickups or that kind of stuff, you might have a pickup front and rear as a warning vehicle. It's up to you. I know it's a lot of information, but anyway. So lead, lead vehicle. So we've got our vehicles and the rest of the column. I've got a column on those. And then the rear vehicle has got the green. And on the back one, I put con convoy, so like I say. Now, another reason for the blue ones, and a reason why often they will run the blue ones, it's more for a security reason thing, and also easy identification, is if you're running a column of vehicles and a vehicle pulls in that looks identical to yours, if people are up to nefarious deeds, um, if it hasn't got a blue flag on it, I mean, obviously, it's not that difficult to find a blue flag, is it? But it's very obvious, then which vehicle is it supposed to be in the convoy and which isn't but anyway it's yeah so there you go and um, what i will do though so you've got the gentle flutter of the flag at the moment what should we speed up look that's fantastic we slow down it goes back to just fluttering the breeze that's a really cool animation on that. I know it's a small thing, it's one of those things people go, what do we want that for? We're never going to use it. We don't run military convoys. But if you're playing multiplayer and you, you might be running a whole load of gear out to your fields, you might want to have the convoy stuff on or emergency vehicles or whatever it is you happen to be running. So there you go. That's the emergency sign by Landmensch. Uh, right, that's the mods for the 28th. Uh, what was the other one? Now, I don't know if this one appeared on the 29th or it was on tagged on the back of the 28th, but there is a Seasons Geo mod that came out for Amelia Romagna by Z84. There is another Geo. So mods for the 29th, we've got first up this one here. This is the Quad Tank for Case IH Quad Tracks. Uh, this is by EY Modding. It's four slots on console, 0 0.82 megabytes. It's a 4,000 and something litre. I didn't write that down, but we'll see in just a moment anyway. Now, this will take fertiliser or seed. So if you're running a machine behind and you want a bit of extra capacity, especially if you're doing some big seeding, big fields. At the moment, it's only designed to work with the quad tracks. There are various modded versions, which it should work with. I mean, I'm, to be honest with you, I haven't tried it. I think any of the large tractors that doesn't have a front three-point link or trail hitch is what it's supposed to work with. You know, that's a good point. Hang on just a moment. That should have been up there on my first ideas and questions. So I've got another track to check that in just a moment. You will find this. Now, where was this? It wasn't somewhere, say, obvious. I thought it might be under fertilised technology. It's under planters. So the quad tanks, 10 grand, 4,500 litres. Uh, slot counts four will go down to one. We can change the main colour. Which kind of leads me to think that possibly, you know, if I'd have gone for maybe the new Holland Note, it says Case H Quad Tank, but you can pick and choose your colour if you want to. That's the option for it. If we hook it up, now what we'll see immediately, if we go backwards to that, the Great Plains got 5,800 litre capacity. If I hook up to that, we've now got 10,300 combined. If I take that off, 4,500 on the tank in front. To fill it up, we open the cover, L1 and left on the directional. To fill, to have lights, it's just got pretty good lighting. And then main beam lights on there, look at that. Then we do have indicators on the front, so actually turn the lights off so you can see those. Very handy bit of kit that for the bigger tractors. I know often you'll have trailed tanks and stuff behind you, but if you want to increase your capacity, why not? Let's move that out of the way and let's test this then. Oh, 
Oh, there you go. It does. So, I know it does say <laughs> quad tank for KSIH. Yeah, an additional tank, front tank for the KSIH quad track, but it does attach to other tractors as well. So if you change the main colour, you can put it onto other tractors too. That makes it a little bit more versatile, because I was thinking straight away, I thought, oh, OK, it's fairly limited. That's great if you're using a quad track, but... Very nice. There we go. That's the quad tank by EY Modding. Next, we have got these. This is the Small Cow and Pigs by Happy Mole. 12.35 megabytes download, 9 slots for the pig one and 10 slots for the cow one. These are really small, nice compact way if you want to get into doing some animals but not a huge amount of animals. The pigs will hold 8, the cows will hold 5. So not a huge amount, like I say it might just be an introduction to and it won't take up a huge amount of space which is rather handy. That does open and close. Dialog box is there for your pigs. These are pretty much the same. You'll see there's a couple of differences. Slurry point is there. Now that is your manure point. And according to what I've done already for my animals, this is pigs, I've got 15 litres of manure has been produced, but nothing is showing anywhere. It's not showing inside. I'm not quite sure where the manure is. is yeah. I'm not sure where it is. Water point and feed point, so pig food or whatever you're going to put in here, and water points around the side there. Easy to find, very straightforward. Now, what I did, and you probably have already seen, for the bales, I, I I tried to put a trailer in here and do straw loose. I couldn't find it. Well, there are small enough trailers, but the ones I had available, it's quite a narrow entrance there. But chuck a bale in there. That will gradually use that and work its way down. I don't think that opens. I did try to. And I have had a look to see whether or not there's any manure on the floor in here but I couldn't see any so that's the pigs cows is the same uh, water and feed TMR whatever you're going to be giving them is there manure point oh I've got some manure shown for the cows oh it's obviously going to appear but it just hasn't yet for the pigs so manure point slurry points the same dialogue box is here I did the same with the bale on the inside so straw in there and this one has got the milk point this is the difference between the two obviously the pigs aren't producing milk there's your milk point so yeah very very handy under placeables and animal pens these are 10 grand each slot counts will drop down from 9 and 10 to 1 for any subsequent one you place after that I think they're brilliant very cool indeed and that is the mods for the 29th so that's what I mean there weren't a huge amount of mods this week uh, so we move on to mods for yesterday, the 30th of July. We start off with this one here, which is the Forage Storage by Missy B. This is 1.76 megabytes download. There are two slots each. There are two in this kind of pack. We've got a Forage Storage and we've got a Root Crop Storage. Both buildings are almost identical, other than the fact, obviously, that's what more of a forage and that's, yeah, potato and sugar beet. These will hold a million litres each, and the price is mind-boggling. 25 grand. 25 grand for a million litres storage. I'm assuming the storage is all underground. It's, sorry. it's buried. Uh, I don't really know what else to say. I mean, yeah, light switch on the front. You put in here. You take out around the back. It's quite a steep angle, and when you bring your trailers under here, you do need to be, I had to be kind of pretty much along that line, right under it, for it to work, to get the trigger to work. But, um, you can't nod that, can you? A million litres storage for 25 grand. Madness. You'll find these under silos. So the forage storage shed will hold your silage, uh, hay, grass, chaff, and... TMR. That was right. I'm just going to check on here. <laughs> ah, dearie me. Straw, hay, chaff, silage, and TMR. Yep. Um, and then sugar beet and potatoes on the other one. Slot counts will drop down from the huge two they started off with down to one for any subsequent one. There. Brilliant. Which brings me on to the last of the mods for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And it's this one here. This is the Amazon Senius 3003 Super. 
This is by KRKZ Modding and KZ Modding. 6.4 megabytes download, 5 slots on console. It's a 3.2 meter cultivator. I'm sorry, guys, it's not a 3. I know for some of you that will be heartbreaking. Um, it's only a little bit bigger, just a fraction bigger. But it's a 3.2 meter cultivator. You will find it under tools and cultivators. 21 grand, requires 120 horsepower. We'll run at 9 miles per hour. You could put, it does say on the jigsaw puzzle piece, SB700 is the recommended weight. There are no options available. You get it in the Amazon orange and green. And it cultivates. But when I bought this out on the JCB, it's got a bit of heft to it for a 3.2 metre cultivator. I mean, you get some mods where you, know, you barely notice you've got them on the back. And it does recommend a weight. This, the JCB was kind of, I was getting a lot of movement on this. So there's, there's a lot of weight physics. Weight physics, weight physics on the back of this. Um, let's just drop it down, and there we are, We're cultivating to 3.2 meters, which is kind of what you hope for from a cultivator. And that's it for the mods for the latter part of last week. Hope you found this useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have please give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do as always thanks for watching